Yellow mealworms, the larvae of mealworm beetles, are at the heart, or should I say gut, of a study currently underway at the University of Delaware. Chemical and biomolecular engineers Mark Blenner and Kevin Solomon say the microbes inside the worm's digestive tract can eat and break down all types of mixed plastics, like single-use water bottles and plastic wrapping. We basically put mealworms, plastic, and sometimes we add an additional nutrient, and then we wait, right? So then the, the worms start to search for food, they find this plastic, and then it will ingest the plastic. As it's going through the gut, all the microbes that are there are doing chemistry on the plastic. The worm actually doesn't do anything. They're just an incubator, a reactor that holds the microbes that do all the heavy lifting. The microbes are like are like children. They're very picky eaters. And so you, you, you set out a buffet of different plastics and then you see which children come to the buffet. And that's how you can understand what plastics they like and what parts of the plastic they'll eat. Once they can identify which microbes show up and better understand how they're breaking down the plastics chemically, Blenner and Solomon say that will allow them to address the plastic waste problem on a much larger scale. The hope a little bit longer term is to be able to uh, take that understanding and try and remove the worm from the process and create a scalable biotechnological process that would allow us to degrade waste plastics much, much faster than, than we currently can now with biological processing. And we're talking about converting that plastic waste into something more valuable. I guess the formal term is upcycling. So rather than making more plastics, we're making things that are more valuable than the plastics that they came from, biofuels, new medicines. Once we know whether or not organism A breaks down plastic and turns it into a fat, then we can say, here's this fat pathway that we know how to work with. We can use that to turn it into a biofuel or use it to turn it into antibiotic X or, or what have you. The three-year project is funded through a $15 million Department of Energy grant. I think we're starting to see the need to deal with our plastic waste, right? We generate way more plastic waste than we recycle. Washing the food off of plastics and then separating the plastics into different types is actually a very expensive, water-intensive, labor-intensive process. That is one of the major reasons that we don't actually spend the time and energy to do recycling now. Our end game is developing economical approaches to eliminate and reuse plastic waste streams. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.